transition is very often a very difficult period because uh, the children they want to be uh, more independent, to have less uh, burden on their shoulders. And it is a very precise period where the uh, disease can increase, where some chronic organ damage can uh, be uh, uh, apparent. And so it's very often they have to do more, examin more exams, to take more drugs, and just at the period where they would like to be free. And uh, relationships with the families may be difficult because very often the families overprotect the children because they hope that it may protect the child from the disease, and it is a period where they should be uh, not overprotected. And the experience is that very often the uh, adolescents experience more pain, more complication, and more suffering at this period of adolescence. And we have to prepare the transition between uh, pediatric care and adult care. In Europe, pediatric care is usually extremely well organized and there are good structures, good pediatricians and so on, and many pediatricians know the disease. But for the adults, the organization is uh, so far less structured and uh, real specialists of the disease are lacking. So yes, it is a very uh, at-risk period. I think that we were aware of these difficulties and of this uh, risk of uh, worsening the disease during transition. And once you are aware, you organize yourself and we organize uh, sessions, trainings uh, with uh, adolescents, they visit the adult facilities. We have created in my center a transition nurse uh, position so she can help the uh, adolescent. They have her phone call. If they do not know what to do, they can call her. And if you take time to organize transition, really things I think can be almost uh, good. <laughs>